Now we're going to create a very simple navigation with all the block links. We have already prepared a very simple styling, which we're going to copy into our template. Now we will create a variable for storing the links. Let's call it blocks. And let's give it an empty object as its default value. Now we will fetch the links from the Storyblock API. For that let's duplicate the already existing API call. We will change the reference from data to blocks and the slug param to cdn slash links. First we want to see what kind of data do we get. As you can see we have got three links as it also includes the block directory as a link. But because we only want our blocks, we will change our API call. To filter out the data that we get from the API call, we can use the param starts with and define the value as blog slash and that way we will get only our blog stories. We can return data.links directly. And now we will render our links in the template. As our unique key we can use the UUID and for the anchor ref we can use the real underscore path. For the link text we will use the name. Now we will clean up the template. We will create a third blog now. Finally we can test if our links are correctly working.